Greetings YouTube, you might be confused as to why I'm starting out this video at the Global Summoner Leaderboard screen, but I just wanted to make a point that the current dual strategy is completely 100% broken and I don't understand why more people don't complain about this. I don't get why we haven't had some kind of message in the community that demands that there is a better way to practice, especially for Alliance War. Because even if you do somehow find that summoner that has an amazing 565 champ to duel, and say it happens to be that Iron Man Infinity War or Killmonger or MODOK, etc., you're going to duel them without the benefit of the node that you are fighting. And at least for me, that is incredibly frustrating. But as you can see, just like myself, I'm just as guilty of this as anybody else. I've got a 565 blade, of course. But look how many blades there are on the leaderboard. Now, yes, we've got some Corvus Glaze. I mean, check this guy out. Third best profile in the world. A five-star rank 565 Corvus Awakened. Pretty amazing. Really, really, really good prestige, I'll say that. But you scroll down and it's blade, 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 start. Corvus, blade, Corvus, blade, blade, blade. And there we go. You go, Vinny, with that sentry. I see you. I see you. So there's a Thor Rags. I, I was told he has the highest prestige of uh, anyone as a five star. Let's view that profile and see what his rating is. Well, 13,990. Of course, with, uh, with masteries, you can really manipulate that, especially if you've got uh, Suicide Masters on. But my point is this, we need a new system. We need a system that trains you to be prepared for what you're gonna face, especially in Alliance War. A dojo-like system. Now what does that mean, Prof? Huh? Well, ideally in a perfect world, Kabam would do a training grounds where you could choose any champion to fight at max rank. We're talking 565s or, or 6 stars that are rank 2, awakened, max 6, SIG 200. And then you could also choose the node that the champion is automatically going to come in, whether it be an all immunities node or masochism, you name it. Maybe you want to do two or three different kinds of nodes to um, simulate like a, a mini boss node. Either way, that is how you get better, and that is how you practice, especially for Alliance War. Now, why hasn't Kabam done this already? Well, how would this benefit them as much as you getting absolutely wrecked in Alliance War and having to use more potions and revives and therefore units to advance? You know, they, they are a for-profit company. Of course, they want to make money, and so this might cost them money, but really, as a community, it shouldn't be something that's too much to ask. We should not have to scroll down through the screen. I mean, look at all those blades. All those blades. There's a Proxima. There's an Iceman. Great to see those. Hey, there's a Vision. Not that we need help finding him. And a Hood. Pretty cool. Voodoo. But mostly it's blades. It's got some Corvuses, more blades. Oh, there's a Gwynpool. But you get the idea. This is not how you practice fighting those champs that you are going to go up against that are super roided out in Alliance War on those nodes, especially those higher tiers where you're facing, gosh, 29, 30,000 PI champs that could easily time you out. Uh, you know what I'm saying that, that's watching this. So my solution, my suggestion is for the company to try to rally together. I'm not sure what the best way to do it other than maybe a forum post and a bunch of people just sharing that post but get Kabam's attention that in order for us to get better and to really prove skill, it's not just about running the same path over and over and trying to fight the same enemies. It's having some real dual system that makes you choose the champion, choose the nodes, have them at max rank. This makes me think of the classic game that I love to play. And keep in mind, I'm not a huge gamer. I went like literally a decade without playing games, but one of my favorite games at high school to very much date me was Super Smash Brothers on the GameCube and Nintendo 64. And you could do a training where you go up against level 9 computers 
who are the, the toughest computers and you just fight them over and over again. You could add items, you could detract items, you could have all of the settings perfect to the atmosphere that is conducive to you. Training it reminds me of Dragon Ball Z and like going up into space and fighting with certain conditions where the air is, you know, not the gravity is not as uh, intense. I'm going all over the place between Super Smash Bros. and Dragon Ball Z references. I'm sure some, some of you out there might appreciate and others are going to be like, what the heck is he talking about? But either way, I just want to say that, that going forward, this is the kind of thing that's going to help the community. This is the kind of thing that we should be demanding. We are looking at a row of blades. That's what everybody is. And right now, if your top champ does not... Uh, if your if your top champ isn't somebody that you need, then then you can't duel, right? You can just duel that top champ. It's another broken thing in the game, and it's it's just time for it to evolve. It's time for it to get better, and hopefully you agree with this. You share this video. You make a forum post, and we can have some real dialogue in this very important issue. The dueling is over. It's time for dojos. Dojo is the D word that needs to continue to revolve around the community because this is the way we train, we practice, we get better, and we hopefully. Uh, tone our skills up, and then we go out and we wreck havoc or get absolutely wrecked, especially in Alliance War, depending on your luck and your skill and your path. So there you have it. Please comment below and let me know if you have other suggestions for this. This is obviously just the first video and a topic that could have a whole series of videos. Who knows? Uh, but I just I like to discuss things that the community can benefit from, and this is one of those things that I wanted to present to you all to talk about. Thanks for watching. Thank you for liking the video, for supporting my channel, for continuing to give me content ideas to make this game that we all love even better. Thanks for watching.